Hey Honda fans, Honda Laura here in beautiful Jamestown, Rhode Island. Today, as per your request, we're doing a comparison video for the 2015 Honda Civic EX and the 2015 Toyota Corolla S Plus. Let's get it going. As always, we'd like to say thank you to Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk for letting us take out the Civic today. We'd also like to say a special thank you to Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn for letting us take out the Corolla. The Civic and the Corolla are leaders in the compact sedan segment. We chose the EX Civic and an S Plus Corolla, being only within $1,200 from one another. Let's take a look at their exterior features. In 2014, the Civic got a little revamp. In 2014, the Corolla got a whole new redesign. They took inspirations from the Avalon. It looks really, really stylish. Their grille is wide mouth, slatted, piano black with chrome trimming. LEDs are standard on all Corolla models, daytime running lights and headlights. Also, you get fog lights. Civic is a little bit more subdued front end, but you still do get those chrome trimmings and halogen projector beam headlights. Moving down along the sides, both cars are gonna be featuring glossy black insert rims. The Corolla, 17 inch, the Civic, 16 inch. Both have body colored side mirrors and door poles. The Corolla is going to feature turn signal indicators and heated mirrors. The Civic's mirrors are going to feature its signature lane watch system. The camera mounted on the right hand mirror to give you a view of your blind spot around the side. Civic is also going to feature moonroof standard on your EX models and higher. The Civic has most of its visual interest on the back end. Chrome spanning the width of the trunk, backup camera with dynamic guidelines, and visual interest on their brake lights. The back end of the Corolla features a deck lid spoiler and trim level badging. The Corolla may have more style, but let's go under the hood and see what powers these compact sedans. Under the hood of the 2015 Toyota Corolla, you're gonna see a 1.8 liter four cylinder VVTi engine, which produces 132 horsepower. It has a CVTIS intelligent shift transmission, which produces 29 city, 37 highway, and a combined of 32 miles per gallon. Featured under the hood of the 2015 Honda Civic is also a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. However, it's Honda's iVTEC, which produces 143 horsepower and 11 horse advantage over the Corolla. It also has a CVT transmission. However, Honda's produces 30 city, 39 highway, and a combined of 33 miles per gallon. So pretty much a, a one combined MPG advantage over the Corolla. It is definitely present when you drive the Civic. So behind the wheel of the 2015 Toyota Corolla, first thing up is gonna be the gauge cluster. I do enjoy an analog gauge cluster as opposed to the Civic's digital speedometer up top. A nice little well thought out iMid screen up front gives you all your pertinent information. Leather wrapped steering wheel, Bluetooth standard, um, audio controls, uh, I like the mute button on the steering wheel too. The Bluetooth is not as good in the Corolla. We can't really hear each other when we're driving along, but its voice commands are much more responsive in the Corolla. Glove box doesn't move forward and back like I like it to, which the Civics does. Up front is gonna be your USB connector and your auxiliary connection. I like them up front, easy to access like our Accord. Digital automatic climate controls. It looks really nice. All these black shiny detailing, a little bit of blue and brushed metal detailing throughout. Gives a little extra. Something odd about the dashboard, how it's high and flat. It looks kind of like a cliff that just ends. Very odd. Last thing is gonna be Toyota's Entune audio system. I really like the functionality of it, having physical volume and phone buttons to get where you want quick. However, I like the sound of Honda's display audio system much better. Its six speaker system is a little more pleasing to the ear. However, this does have six speakers as well. Let's go over to the Civic and see what that looks like. Find the wheel of the 2015 Honda Civic. This is where the beauty of the Civic really lies. You are gonna see an LCD five inch IMID screen, digital speedometer, and blue ambient meter for your efficiency lighting. Econ is manual as opposed to the Corolla's automatic econ system. Steering wheel mounted controls for your IMID screen and display audio. Bluetooth is standard for all Civic models. 
Glove box, uh, center console moves forward and back just like I like. Moving up forward, you're gonna see your USB connectors, two of them up front and in the glove box. HDMI connection, auto digital climate controls. Moving up lastly is going to be your seven inch touchscreen display audio system. Honda's display audio system features a Pandora application and the whole Honda Link Connect system. It's only $160 to get the equipment necessary to turn your display audio system into navigation. Toyota Corolla has a whole package that you have to purchase, upgrade your Entune system to get your navigation, which comes with the XM satellite radio and all that good stuff. Honda's a little bit more easier to navigate through. What do I like about this car? I like that dog. I like the view. It's getting late. Um, I like the seats on this car. Yes, I like the seats. It's very comfortable seats. LED headlights, standard on all cars because headlights alone, LED lights sells the car by itself. Road noise is kind of loud in here though. It's very comfortable. love the rims. This is more of a car, I think, for younger people. I think it's targeted towards people my age. Younger generation. Very different driving experience for having a similar 1.8 liter four cylinder engine with a CVT transmission. It's crazy how different they are. Honda's acceleration is a little bit quicker, more responsive than the Corolla. Braking is quicker than the Corolla. It's quieter. Um, slamming a door, the doors are heavier. There's a lot more visibility because of these side windows here. I have gotten really accustomed to the lane launch, so I use it all the time. It's um, one of my favorite features. I like to be able to see what's on the side of me and I don't like having blind spots. So that was our comparison video for the 2015 Honda Civic and the 2015 Toyota Corolla. At the end of the day, I think it comes down to style versus substance. What would you pick? Comment below, like our video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. From Herb Chambers Honda of Seekonk, I'm Honda Laura, and I'll see you next time.